Hey everybody, I'm Allie Dorn, this is my husband Jared Dorn, and today we are making our perfect venison burgers recipe. So this is a buck that I actually harvested in uh, 2020, and uh, we're making some burgers today. This is one of the most popular recipes on my website because it is so flavorful, the burgers get so juicy, and I'm gonna show you guys a couple of my tips and tricks that I use when I make my venison burgers. I know Jared has grown up eating venison. Mm -hmm. I have not, but how are these burgers, would you say, in comparison to burgers that you've had when you were a kid? Um, I would definitely say they definitely put a spin on them. They have much more flavor, for sure. Yep. And yeah, it's like a recipe you've revamped. Oh, I like that, revamped. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna add some garlic powder, onion powder, and salt here. I'm also going to add a little bit of fresh cracked pepper. Jared and I are totally those people that- More pepper. Put, yeah, More. put pepper in everything. So, fresh cracked pepper goes in. One of my secret ingredients is actually balsamic vinegar. It might sound kind of crazy, but what is one of my top venison tips? Uh, it's good to add acid to uh, your venison. Exactly, you yes. So a lot of my recipes that I have on the blog and in my cookbook have acid in them. That's one of my top tips for cooking with venison is adding acid to the recipes. It helps tone down that richness and flavor that I think turns some people off. Then I'm just gonna add a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire? 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 Worcestershire. <laughs> um, and then my last tip, so I actually add grated butter to my venison burger patties. I know that might sound a little bit weird to you guys. Um, I've just grated about two tablespoons worth. It's not a lot. And what that does is it holds flavor and juice pockets into the patty. Yeah, definitely adds a lot of flavor, I would say. Yeah. You know what, would you go behind me and turn on the uh, burner? Jared's gonna go ahead and turn on a cast iron skillet over uh, about medium, medium high heat. You can also grill these burgers. I'm actually just mixing together my burger patties with two forks. I feel like this helps to kind of aerate the ground venison because a lot of times when we pack and freeze our venison, it gets packed down on in, and uh, that makes kind of like a hockey puck for a burger. So I like to fluff it with some forks and before I form. So I've got my venison burger mixture all mixed up, and I'm gonna go ahead and form the burgers, and then do you wanna cook on sure. the cooktop? Yeah. Okay, cool beans. So I'm usually the cook in the household, but Jared is actually a really good cook too. I just don't give him enough opportunity. So this recipe makes four burgers. Jared and I are just gonna make some burgers for ourselves today. Gonna have ourselves a little lunch date treat. Our little girl is taking a nap. She's six months old, and so we are just gonna have some lunch together. So what I do when I form my burgers, you can see there's nice pockets of butter kind of just studded in there. That's just gonna be straight up juice. And I don't like to pack them too hard, and then I just take my thumb and I make a little indent because I like to let the juice pool inside of the burger patty in that little thumb indent. So, Jerry, are you ready to cook these up? Sure. Sounds good, I'm gonna yep. trade spots with you and okay. I'm gonna wash my hands. Okay, so he has those burgers down and now we're just gonna work on toppings. I'm kind of a burger purist. Sometimes I just go for a straight up hamburger, no cheese, but today I want pepper jack. Are you doing cheese on yours? I'm definitely doing pepper jack and all the toppings. Okay, and then we prefer brioche buns and I'm just gonna get in there with some lettuce. I like to use nice leafy lettuce. Um, Jared and I do actually plant a garden in the spring, and one thing that we generally like to add is lettuce, because we eat a lot of salads. So we do a really leafy lettuce, so sometimes we'll do our homegrown lettuce in the summertime, and we do also grow tomatoes. So there's nothing better than a burger with homegrown tomatoes and lettuce. All the fixings, right? Yep, absolutely. So I'll slice this up some tomato. You like your tomato thinly sliced? Thinly sliced. Okay. I like thick slices of tomato. So, how are those burgers doing? Uh huh. Are they about ready to flip? Yep, burgers are ready to flip. Ooh. Ooh, those look great. Do you want to put the cheese on? Sure. Take two slices of cheese. 
and we like to just kind of let them sit. And I like to cook our burgers to about 145 degrees Fahrenheit. That's about medium. Um, if you want to cook them to well done, you're going to want to go to like 155 degrees Fahrenheit internally. Um, but I like our burgers with a little bit of pink in the middle, especially with venison. It helps to keep them nice and juicy. It's already melting nicely, and then I feel like you need more lettuce. Yes, and then, I do need more lettuce. Yeah, go ahead. There's a couple of thin slices in tomato right there for you. He's very particular how he likes his Gotta tomato. Have it just set up right. Right. Those look just about perfect. It's the cheese is starting to melt off. I'm ready for a burger if you, you want to serve me I'm one. I'm serve you up here. Yeah. Some melted. Got that on there. We're all assembled. I'm I'm ready to dig in. Are you ready to dig in? Absolutely. Burger cheers. Burger cheers. Burger cheers. Cheese, I can barely get a hand on it. Yeah, well that's a good sign of a good burger. All right. I'm just gonna go in. Oh, juicy. That's delicious. Mm -hmm. Okay, seriously, you guys, look how juicy this is. It's perfectly cooked. It's not super rare in the middle, but it's still just like pooling juice on my plate. So if you want to make this, go check out my website, MissAllie'sKitchen.com. Perfect venison burgers. They're literally perfect every time. Come check us out on Instagram at miss.allyskitchen. And make sure you hit that like and subscribe button for more recipes. Bye, guys. Thank See you. Ya.